Steve Hartman this morning tags along on a journey to the past. Never mind the limousine, marching band, and red carpet. What amazes 75-year-old Marvin Jones the most Hi. is that he's back at his old high school, period. Because when I left Brunswick High School in 1966, I said I would never return. It was a different time. Schools across the South were desegregating, including Brunswick High in Lawrenceville, Virginia, where it fell to Marvin and these 14 other kids to take that first painful step. On the bus, the students would bring KKK flyers. And when I would come down the hall, they'll close their nose and say, here comes a skunk, okay? I felt as if I had leprosy. Even decades later, those memories haunted. So to heal, Marvin decided to put pen to paper, writing letters to the very students who tormented him. What did you say in the letters? I would tell what each person had done to me. Marvin wrote about 90 such letters to former classmates, pouring out his pain whether people wanted to hear it or not, and most didn't. But one of the letters he mailed struck a different tone, and that letter was very well received. That is he. The recipient was Paul Fleshed. Marvin says Paul was one of the few students who never bullied him or said an unkind word. Really touched me. Marvin wrote, There were many days that I wanted to scrap up a conversation with you and that I perceived you as one of the students I could have been friends with. Did you get a sense that he was trying to open a door? Absolutely. And when you saw that, what did you think? I thought, well, I'm going to go through that door. Hey, buddy. <laughs> Marvin and Paul became close friends. Good to see Good you. To see you. <laughs> and that friendship eventually led to this. We acknowledge their sacrifice. We celebrate their legacy. Earlier this month, Paul and other leaders in the community hosted a ceremony honoring the Brunswick 15. Those 15 brave children who were once treated like untouchables, now embraced with open arms. It means a lot. It means that we have overcome a lot. Marvin used to say he never had one good day at Brunswick High School, but almost 60 years later, looks like maybe he finally has.